Now, CBS 13 Sports Friday. Hello and welcome into week nine of the high school football season. I'm Joe Musso alongside Sarah Hodges. Sarah, you were at our game of the week and it was a big one. Did it live up to the billing? That's the question. Honestly, no. <laughs> it was supposed to be, you're right. You have two teams with quarterbacks who will most likely play Division I football on the next level. And as you know, Monterey Trail, they've been absolutely dominant against their opponents so far this season. So honestly, Joe, I think they were embracing a little bit oh, of competition yeah. tonight. First drive of the game for Burbank, second play from scrimmage. Lavelle Bailey on play action, nowhere to go, keeps it himself. He's gaining ground, but Jaleel Budget says, no, homie, Ooh. this is my house. The ball comes loose, Mustangs recover now. Monterey Trail on their first drive of the game, second play from scrimmage. Out pops Zach Larrier, he turns on the Jets, tight ropes the sideline, goes 60-something yards and says, hey, mama, that would be Emily Larrier over there, by the way. <laughs> Mustangs to exactly go up 7-0. Later in the first, the Stangs knocking on Burbank's door and Larrier knocks off the hinges off of it. Second rushing touchdown of the game. Burbank drops their first L in league play while the Stangs stay undefeated 41 to 6 the final. Antelope taking on Indracum. It was chippy out there from the jump. I saw it firsthand. Some flags were flying late in the first. Sabian Presley lowering his shoulder as he crosses the goal line. That made it 13 to nothing. But hold the phone. Second quarter, Titans run to their signature misdirection. Savon Bradley around the left side. It's a foot race and he wins it. Meet me at the pylon, 13 to 7. Ensuing kickoff now. Antelope going to go short and it's going to pay off. Check this out. The kick mishandled. David Ustamov going to fall on it and the Titans were rolling in the second quarter. Two plays later, sudden change. You got to take advantage. Play action pass. Nathan Lucero to Zion Henley. That would give Antelope their first lead of the game, 14 to 13 at that point. And no need to adjust your television sets after another turnover. It looks quite similar. Lucero up top again. This time the Sylvester's Toby. Sly going up and getting it. That made it 21 to 13 at the half. Someone give a great halftime speech. Intercom <laughs> outscores Antelope 24 to 7 in the second half for the comeback win. They move to 8 and 0 on the season. And El Grove Sheldon welcoming Pleasant Grove Huskies up big in the second half, 48 to 28. But here comes the Eagles. Nathan Valencia finds Trey Kennedy in the end zone. What a catch! <laughs> Later, Pleasant Grove on the goal line, looking for more. Met by a host of Huskies. Ball comes loose. It's recovered in the end zone by Justin Rennie. That's a touchdown. The Eagles in the game at this point. Just, just drew it up. Huskies up <laughs> just by a touchdown late in the third. And this run right here pretty much seals the deal for Sheldon. You'll see it right there. They even tricked our cameraman. They take the win, 55-48. Stag and Bear Creek, a couple of four and three ball clubs, plenty on the line tonight in the first. Catch of the year candidate right here. Check it out. Cameron DeVille lets one rip. Dominique, don't call me Dom yeah. James. Full extension holds on. Just another day of work for the senior. Later, DeVille going to keep it off the left side. Little QB keeper. Move him with your eyes, young fella. 25-yard scamper gave the Delta Kings a 14-13 lead on the ensuing kickoff. Bear Creek's Davian Phillips following his blocks and then turns on the Jets. No one's going to catch him. 85 yards untouched. But it wouldn't be enough. Stag goes on to win this one 27 to 19. All right, a little further down south, St. Mary's welcoming Tracy. Rams in business early, up 28 13. Handoff to Trey Washington. Get some good blocks to pay dirt. The Rams up 35 13. Tracy may be on the road, but they came with a job to do. Logan Fife hits Travion Shadrick Harris for the first down, but nothing comes of the drive. The Rams, though, they got life. And guess what else? Some fresh legs. Demarier Cotton not stopping until he sees six. He eventually Ooh. gets there. St. Mary's comes up big in this one to go up 3 0 in league play. 42 20, your final. Mira Loma and Mesa Verde, both teams still looking for their first win of the season. Something's got to give. Second half, Verde getting to the quarterback. Charles Bracey doing his best Khalil Mack impression. <laughs> Too soon. The strip sack, Jay Sean Brown scoops and scores. The Mavs wanted it more tonight. Mira Loma not laying down. George Aberman. Again, flush from the pocket, picks up a nice gainer off the left side here, but no points would come of it. Later in the drive on fourth down, Sal Ramirez, untouched, comes through for the sack. Mesa Ooh. Verde in the win column for the first time this season. Moving closer to home, Grant welcoming Del Oro, the Pacers in business early. Xavier Johnson reading the defense well. He sees daylight and chases it, diving into the end zone to put Grant on the board. But the Golden Eagles, they have an answer, and his name is Sheldon Cohn. We saw him last week. He thanks 
the man upstairs for this one, picks up six. And that's not all from Del Oro. This time, it's Carson Jarrett to Joshua Moore for some more points. <laughs> the Golden Eagles barely sneak past Grant, though. 22-21 is the final in this one. Some other scores to bring your way from week nine. The Folsom Freight Train rolls on. Since being shut out in week one, the dogs are averaging 56 points per game. Elk Grove getting back in the win column on a rivalry night, 28 to nothing over Franklin. All right, and moving on to some more. The Rio Linda Knights get the big win and against the Fighting Zebra in their tor territory, 52-35. Both of those teams now two and one in league play. And how about Placer taking down Oakmont by 25 points? They continue with their undefeated season at 8-0. That's it for Week 9. We'll send it back your way, guys.